What's up, guys? Back with another one. It is 5.27 in the morning. We are flying to Indiana for a night to go race a three-hour GNCC tomorrow. I don't know what we're getting into, but we're going. We'll see. We made it to Indy. I've seen outside for like five seconds so far, and it's cold. Uh, we got the bag. It made it. Obviously, we didn't bring suspension, so our bag made it. Uh, we're gonna rental car now. It's uh, 1014. It's time to go see what we're getting ourselves into. Boys, <laughs> I'll take the green one. <laughs> we are going in. I did not realize it was gonna be a full blown green car, but this is our whip. I feel like we should be here for Supercross right now, and it's very strange to be in Indy not racing a Supercross. We are here for a GNCC. As I said before, I don't know what we're getting ourselves into. Haven't seen the bike yet. I believe I'm signed up. I was told that I'm like a wild card. Don't really know what that means. Um, we have a, it kind of looks like vomit green car. <laughs> Um, but it's got car play, so that's cool. Um, we're just allowed for the ride. Wow. So we just got here. Um, my map said we were a mile and a half away from the entrance, and there was we were already at motorhomes. This is I've never seen anything this insane to be honest with you it's so packed and we're still a mile away from the entrance and there's motorhomes all over this cornfield i think it's this cornfield i'm from florida i don't know but it looks like a cornfield this is wild i've never seen anything like this before the only thing i can like put this in to the same category would be like minios minios has so many motorhomes or even like loretta's like it's so it's so packed but it's so different than this. Like I'm, it's, I don't know, this is wild. This whole road gets shut down, huh? Okay, so I know this area. This is the normal entrance to, I think the Nash, I haven't been to National since like 2017, but I think this is the normal entrance. I feel like you could easily show up and not get a wristband and still make it through. That's just me, but I think you could. I think we're on the side of the team, but we're on it, but we're not. Dark, how does this all work? What do we What do we have to do? I don't know. If, do you know Randy? Randy Hawk is like I don't know commander. anyone. Okay, so Randy, well, obviously, he's kind of a legend in the GMCC, but he's the Got team commander, I believe. Okay. Um, I have to go actually get my transponder in a few minutes and deal with that kind of shit. Have okay. you already paid and signed up, or are they doing it? Or? I have no okay, idea. Okay, you might want to talk to Randy, the guy in the okay. best, and see what you need to do. <laughs> so I like, paid online. I, uh, I don't know if they're covering your deal. Or Ulrich like was me mailing the the lady, okay. and I like, set it up with my number, and I gave him my date of birth and stuff. But yeah. like at, past that, like I have Ulrich, I think is on the track doing a quad thing right now. So okay. he'll be back in a little bit. Yeah, I have. I've never met Ulrich. I don't even know what okay. he looks like. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen him. When I do, I'll. Just, but yeah, ask Randy if he knows what the deal is, or if you just need to wait for Ulrich. Yeah. I, but I know I got to go get my transponder and make sure I'm good. Where do you do that at? I think there's like a, a sign up up in the above the these trails. Yeah, way right up there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab you before I go there. Yeah, yeah, please. I can Leo, but I got to try to get Leo. I don't want to bug him. We're just we're here. I got to talk to this guy apparently, but I don't know him. Hey, I'm John. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. So, like, anything you need or want to move around on that thing, that's your guy. Okay. So, I'm Rachel, Archer's mechanic, and then okay. she races in the morning, you're racing in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometime today, we'll, uh, whenever. Honestly, I sat on it while I, like, felt it. The only thing I think I'll do is move the front brake to the left a little bit, and that's it. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty easy. And, like, it also helps the fact that I, I ride a Honda, and I'm going to this, and I'm like, 
not like, oh, well, I do this to my bike yeah, and this yeah. and this and this. Yeah. It's just like, hey, let's yeah. go, you know? Yeah. Like, all right. Uh, I mean, he's got Bibbs front and rear, and he's got so that's Ricky's AK suspension. Yeah, so I saw that's nice. Zach probably gonna need set. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, you guys are pretty. You and Ricky are pretty. Yeah. Pretty, pretty similar. Yeah, I'm like 170. Same. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah. And I honestly, the another thing is, I've never rode in the woods in my life. Like, this is like mountain bike only. So when it comes to uh, how suspension should be. Right. Sag at like 105 and go. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Like even on Supercross, like I did suspension testing yesterday and I'm just like, feels good in the whoops. I don't know. And the guy's like, well, we got to change this. I'm like, okay, change it. I don't know. I just ride the bike, you know? Yeah. So what they'll do though is they'll go and like, they may not bike the entire track, but yeah. they'll, they'll definitely go pick out the hardest spots. Yeah. Um, but we'll work together and we'll get you Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. We're going to go full set in three hours. Let's go. <laughs> Moto track to the woods. Yeah, right. All right, so we finally have talked to someone. Uh, at least we know that the bike is good. I still don't know if I'm signed up. I think I am. Uh, from the email that I have gone through with people, it, it, I think I'm good. But uh, I have to talk to Mike Ulrich, and I don't know. Who, I know who that is, but I don't know him. I've never seen him before in person, so I have no idea what he looks like. And then there's Randy, the team owner, but I don't know him either. And. Uh, yeah, especially a YouTuber. No idea. I don't even know who that is. I only figured that out actually who it was because his uh, his poster was up front. But everything else, I have. Nope. I know. Uh, I know Zach. Yeah, that's about as far as my knowledge goes with all of this. Everyone else? No, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like this fits your style. They were like, do you want like a car or like a midsize? And I was like, honestly, where we're going, probably a midsize. And they were like, all right, it's the green one. I'm like, okay. And I got out here and I was like, oh, you weren't kidding. It's yeah, the green that's one. That's real green. Yeah. Oh, we got to fight? Are we fighting? I don't know. That'd be good for the vlog. Nah, he was just yeah. upset. Nah, I love it, dude. I love it. Yeah, I think the sign is up here somewhere. I was somewhere else. Justin, yeah. Starling. Justin, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, Justin. How Randy are you? Richardson. Yeah, nice I, of course, I know who you are. Nice Come on now. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we're going to... That's over here somewhere? Uh, yeah, just that way. Though. Like, how far are like, uh, it's Is it in this area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bigger area? Yeah, okay. I, I think, yeah. yeah, yeah just, you see the great big long line. Okay, yeah, it's Probably. not that far. Yeah. Okay, good to see you, man. Yeah, yeah. Am I signed up? How does this all work? Just, just uh, in, uh, just so you're already okay. signed up. Okay. All right, yeah. so probably just go check in over there. Have okay. you been over to the Yamaha truck? Yes, yet? I've been there the whole time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, we just kind of like drove the car in and parked, and I was like, Hey, <laughs> how's it going? Nice <laughs> yeah. All right. We're gonna go get signed up. All right. Then I yeah. Okay. We'll handle it all. Okay. So we'll perfect. So yeah. Oh, perfect. The hamburger is that troll training approved? No. No, it's not. No, it's not. Hey, I had a Dunkin' coffee this morning, and just don't, just do not tell troll, please. He's on troll training too. Can't we can't. Pit passes. Nope. Transponders. Is there like a check in line? I'm going to follow it up and just ask questions because I don't know. I just genuinely don't know. All right, so we're in like the third line now. Uh, I wasn't signed up. Uh, Ulrich said I was, but I, I wasn't. So we've handled that, and it was actually kind of funny the lady that handled it all. Um, knows my mom, so that was kind of funny. As soon as I said my last name, she's like, is your mom Stephanie? I was like, yep. So that was, that was cool, whatever, made it kind of feel uh, a little bit nicer. And now we're in another very long line uh, to do something that I don't know what it is yet. So uh, I was just told to stand over here, and I could come back at 7 a.m. if I wanted to, and I could be here all day, but I just want to get it over with. 
Um, so yeah, now we're in line again for, like I said, I don't know what it is, but we have a transponder and more paperwork. So we'll find out what we're about to do because I don't know what it is. Once your rope has started, you will follow. All right, so we're signed up. Uh, it was a hundred bucks. Thought I was get, getting that paid for, but apparently there is a payout. So I've got to get 15th or better, and I can make two hundred dollars. So I can make a profit of a hundred bucks if we do that. Um, which that's not what we're here for. But we got this goes on my helmet on the sides. This goes on the back of my helmet. Um, this is a fun sticker. I was told which is round 12, which 12 is like my number, so that's cool. Um, Transponder goes on my chest protector. Um, that thing. Um, that's all I know right now, but the plus side is we're signed up. Everyone I've dealt with so far knows my parents because of AMA and all that, and my parents work for the AMA, so that's pretty funny. Everyone that goes up and they see my sign-up sheet, they're like, Starling, Stephanie Starling is your mom? I was like, yep, so they all know my family, so that's funny. Um, we're going racing. So let's go back to the rig. I could probably should pull my helmet out and build it and put the stickers on it, so at least that's done for tomorrow. And then maybe figure out like when I do a gas stop and all that, because I don't know when, I don't even know how to get back. All right, so here's the race seed. It is a, I, I think a 2022, I don't know for sure, but I think it is. 312 is the only time I'll ever have a red background in my life, because that'll never happen in, in my series. Um, I've never seen that rear tire before. I ride with that front tire normally. Uh, we have some kit suspension, which is cool. Um, I don't know who it's built for, but yeah, we got some kit suspension. Looks sweet. Um, yeah, I don't. This tire is weird, huh? I've never seen a seen a tire like that before. It's very wide, but hey, sure. Yeah, it looks good though. I, I've never seen these bars in my life. They're uh, they have a lot of dampening in them. Uh, a little strange, but hey, it'll work. Um, I don't know what that button does. Kill switch. Nope, that's kill switch. This is start button. We're, we're I don't know what's going on here fully, but uh, we have a massive gas tank that I really am hoping I don't hit my nuts on because that looks painful. But uh, yeah, should be good. We're just gonna send it. Hey man, I'm jealous. I wish yeah. I could race. <laughs> it's it's cool. I'm excited about it. Like I'm, I really, it feels like Anaheim, but way more laid back and fun. Like a lot of people ask me, like, oh, would you like go to the moto side, like if there's an opportunity for like, mechanic or something? No. Yeah. I know it's I get, crazy I to see you over here. Around. Yeah, it's crazy to see you over here. I've heard so much more. Dude. I, I since I've been here just today, I've noticed how everyone's just more laid back. It's so fun. It's so calm. And like everyone's here to have a good time. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Transponder. Such a different transponder than what I'm used to. But same concept. This is way better than putting it on my chest protector, like the lady said. Did not want it on my body. Bingo. Boom, boom. Just like that. starts. Yeah, how's that work? <laughs> I just found out like two days ago that it's dead engine. You just to warm it up before. Yeah. I mean, it'll be warm when you get the line. Yes. Just kind of, you'll, you'll see everybody else. They'll warm it up before. And then 
I'd, I'd keep it in neutral yeah. until they do like the one minute. Yeah. Shift it down and I would go second. I would shift it up in a second. Yeah. Shut it off. And then don't give it much gas, but you need, you need to go practice and feel it. Yeah. Just go out there and just practice. And just, it's wild. <laughs> I'm so excited. I cannot we got, wait. We got a whole set of ice on here. Perfect. So, yeah. And she's pretty low, so you'll be good. Sweet. Yeah, I'm so I'm so excited. I'm very easy, I promise. I, I try. <laughs> I made them change bar mounts basically backwards from where it was, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I came in here, and I'm already changing things. But yeah, he's handling he's handling tech for me because I couldn't find tech, so uh, we're here. We're making moves. We're signed up. They have treated me absolutely amazing. Everyone is awesome. Everyone's very nice. It's very laid back here compared to Supercross, where everything seems very uptight and like secretive and this and that. And everyone just seems to want to talk here. Uh, but Mike Ulrich is the one that really helped set this up and he's behind us, he's doing stuff. But I see why people come GNCC racing because it is so calm. I was able to ride over to, it looked like the start area and I've never seen so many people in my life and apparently it's not even the full day. So this is, uh, I feel like a fish out of water, but in such like a positive way. So. So far, A plus experience. We'll check back in with you. We are, I guess, going to do starts. Uh, and immediately in my mind, I was like, get the grate, get everything, and we're going to do it. And I remember that it's dead engine immediately again. So we are about to go figure out how to do a dead engine start. And I know that sounds so dumb. But there is a whole routine to it that I don't know that I'm about to find out. So And you're doing this in khakis. Doing it in khakis and boots. They said this is all I need. Boots are on. I put some silicone in here to block out any possible water from the creeks we gotta go through. because uh, I wear the vintage boots a lot. So that's I guess the one modification I've done so far with this event. This is rad. I'm having so much fun. You have super cars, or you have vintage boots on. Yeah. yeah. All my other boots, I haven't worn them yet, and they're all the same. Yeah. And the other ones I've been wearing all summer are the vintage ones. And I was like, dude, they might be water and shit. And I was like, I'm going to put silicone in there. It's not a bad idea, really. While you're here, let's say your whole shot device to make sure it's lined up. So clearly, this is on three or one? Yeah, one, two, three. So one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. so much easier than a super cross yeah. board. Yeah, yeah. So we just finished up. I'm, I'm like literally just shit everywhere right now. Sorry, I didn't mean to curse. But uh, we just did some dead engine starts because that's what you have to do tomorrow. Um, I have never done one in my life. Like I, I legit have never done, the only GNCC type start I've ever done was Minio's in 2001 maybe. Which actually, I think I won it. So that was, it's kind of cool. I'm undefeated, I guess you could say, in woods racing. Uh, but anyways, we uh, we did some dead engine starts and uh, apparently I'm very good at it. And I didn't I didn't know I would be, but uh, I was hole shotting the, the reigning champ. Uh, it's a, well, the girl of the, the women's class. I was, I was hole shotting her, which absolutely did not expect that. Uh, 
And then I just got a rundown of like how we're gonna do the pit stops tomorrow. And I thought everything was like pretty calm and we stopped like multiple times. No, we, uh, we stop once really and then we come in like for a water bottle and like that's not really a stop and if I run out of tear offs you they, you pull your, your goggles off and they like shove a set of goggles on your face it's a whole thing uh, and they would give me a rundown of how to do it and all that stuff and needless to say I am learning I'm gaining a respect for these guys that I didn't know I could do or like I could have because I didn't understand but these guys are gnarly and honestly every single one of them is so nice like one of the guys was in Sportsman A, I think it's called. And I'm sorry if I don't know these terms, I'm, I'm learning today. Um, and he's so nice and he was helping and his dad was helping. And you might see GNCC in seeing my future. Nice to meet you. Don't worry if I have a whole shot of water. <laughs> Here's the Yeah, we're going to have to go back to the car. We're going to have to go As everyone can probably see, it's the same track pretty much as last year. Um, way better conditions. I think it's like almost perfect from what I what I cycle. Um, last year was 13, 14 miles. So Justin normally is like the perfect track really. 30 minute lap time is like the perfect. An hour and a half fit, six laps. We fit on three. For, um, and like I told you earlier, Josh is gonna take care of you. Yeah. Um, so there's, we have mechanic spots. <clears throat> that he'll see you at all on the track. Um, so as far as morning race, Rachel, if you do have to pit, you and Chris talked about yeah. back here. Um, so what they they make bottles up for, with, they have these straws uh, when they go inside a water bottle. Yeah, yeah. And they just hand them off. Yeah. So if you want to make- Here's your sample. Right there. So if you want to make some of those up, we'll probably round up some straws. Some of them any, any form of, you know, Gatorade, yeah, yeah. Coke, yeah. Yeah. Sauce, whatever. Yeah. They really do take a last go. I do go last step. Yeah. 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 Like I'm, like, I'm kind of thinking like when I cycle, like a like century. Right. It's, it's so, a coke or something. Oh, yeah. So yeah, whatever you get yeah. with Josh on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. They like it at the left hand turn, left hand. Yeah. That way they can. But I think that's going to be the slowest turn we're going to get. I haven't even looked at it. Well, that's not really set up. At least you can take a left and you're going to go right into the score. Yeah. yeah. Josh sees <clears> every time. Yeah. With pit board. Yeah. Just telling you what, what you want. Yeah. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I guess everybody's good with what they've been getting, I guess. And obviously, Liam, I mean, what do you swear, Matt? I mean, I'm sure I'll know. Gus and you. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty much. Oh, Where you coming out of that? Oh, you mean, you mean towards us from there? Oh, doors up. We come down and sometimes, like, like, once the junior race goes, it gets really bad. Yeah. Like sometimes it's like, oh, it wouldn't be that bad. But after they go, it just gets a little worse. So you want to it's, we're trying to kind of guess like, with Todd and how Dad it's going to develop. Yeah. Yeah. From doing them so much, we're kind of going. It's probably going to fall apart. Yeah, right there, right there. But Justin, I'd like another thing, like when so many gas, those tanks are kind of tilted back. So when Josh has that quick fill up, it's kind of like angling yeah, back at you. Yeah, so just make sure you yeah, kind of like, I'll like, I'll like, like back. lean back. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I practice something with some scoop back. I'll be going up and sit pretty oh, far yeah. back. And, then, and if you lose that thing, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, like you pull off and it's fun. I have a game that's good. Where you're on the real catch. Yeah. Yeah. And when, yeah. unless something crazy happens, I don't see that. Yeah. It's going to be a six lap. Six lap race, gas on three. Yeah. You'll get your six laps, but then you can make it. Right, 30 minutes. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like six laps. Short. Yeah, so one lap's gonna be a moto. Yeah. So you're about to do six motos. Yeah. Basically, basically yeah. and I only do supercross, so it's yeah, 20 minutes, yeah. you know, like max. So about five supercross. Yeah, yeah all in a same night span. Yeah, yeah. But it'll, yeah. Be, it'll be fun. It's yeah. Super. Yeah. Yeah. Trail riding, flowing. I mean, it's gonna be good conditions. Yeah. yeah that's I know, everyone keeps telling me, like, you picked the best one. Yeah. Yeah, it really did. Yeah, it's more moto. I'm going to get all spoiled. I'm like, yeah, I can't welcome to this full time now. And then I'm going to go get one. I want to be like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to screw somebody yeah, up, you know, or just be that guy. That's... You're going to be easiest to other lappers later in the race. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. You guys are like most of your yeah. part on your hold bike. Their line. Right. Right. They know, just your your bike's a 450, his a 250, but like, if you for some reason, he might decide to track it. 
Sorry. Sorry. Come up to it. He's on sidetrack and he's on the brake lever. Pump stop. Yeah. Or just Please. stop. <laughs> just tell us. <laughs> this is all about it, dude. Yeah. No, I know. I mean, I'm cool. Like, yeah. so, I have never been so excited to go racing. I get, like, I get like chills all the time. I was like, this is going to be so cool. So you're going to chase see. rider. You're everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. Like, I'm all for that. Like, I want the full experience. Up here, like, from so GCC next year. <laughs> Fit right on his bike. Okay. So Do I need to pick tools? No, we, we, we have all that. Okay. But like you said, if you see him, we should get yeah. that. Yeah. We would appreciate that. Yeah, because I'm like I work on my own bike, so I can do things quick. Okay. If I need to do something, like I can, I'll drop and go. Like whatever I gotta do. Right. We had like a whole team meeting, and I was like, you see people actually like, if you see like, that guy or someone on the side, like something. I'm like, yeah. Okay. He's like, if like if he has a broken lever, like. No problem. Give me a tool. I'll that Yeah. It's like, it's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm sure. track, so I guess we can ride the track. Wait till you get to about two, the two and a half mile marker. Yeah. Iron Man Hills are. Yeah. Well, so I've been up Iron Man Hills. Oh, okay. Yeah. Before on a side by side. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in 2014. Yeah, I'd rather do it on everything. Go to side by side. Yeah. Side, yeah. side by side's on this hey, team? No, no. It was in 24 the cage, and I just sent it up the thing uh, on one of the players. They have one player or something. Yeah. And I just took one of theirs. But that, I didn't know it was on Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Day one complete. We're here in Iron Man. It's been awesome. I was able to see Iron Man Hill. I don't know how I'm gonna get up here, but we're gonna figure it out. We, uh, me and Dark, said we're able to kind of like ride a good bit of the track. It is uh, 6:30, still racing. So uh, we're gonna get some dinner here soon, and then go find a hotel. We haven't booked the hotel yet, but uh, yeah, so far so good. Also, link right here for uh, to buy some merch. Buy it, support us. We uh, we spent money to come here and do this. This was not, we were gonna get paid a dollar. So anything helps, but uh, yeah, support the boy. Get some merch, we'll have t-shirts, hats, you know, the whole nine. Uh, link will be here, Daniel says he's gonna add it right there. So uh, here, merch, there. All right, it's race day. We are headed to the track. We race at one, we'll be there at 9.48. The, I think it's like women's and other classes, I don't know, start at 10. I want to watch how they start. Uh, hopefully they're a little bit behind. But uh, I had a good day yesterday. I, I got lost twice in the woods trying to bike the track. Um, I found Iron Man Hill, stared at it for about 30 minutes trying to figure out how, how to go up it. And I have to go up it six times today. So uh, yeah, it was a good day. It was nice, I enjoyed it, it was fun. Um, the people are great. Uh, everyone on the team is really nice. I think I'm gonna end up playing a bit of a role to be like a helper, I think, uh, all day, which is totally fine with me. And uh, yeah, it was cool. Everyone that I was like dealing with sign up, like I said, I, they all knew my family. So that was kind of cool, kind of comforting, I guess. But uh, yeah, I got my green tea, some egg bites from, from a very overly priced Starbucks. And now we're headed to the track to get this all started. Where should, where should I put this stuff at? 
put them wrench right in there probably. Oh, is that a cooler? That's fine. I'd only need a couple of them. I only need a couple of them. Hell of a lot in here. I mean, we have a bunch of coke too, so. Okay. I didn't know, so I just. keep it, if you keep it in that, like, if you keep it like this, it maybe won't get. Not, maybe not taken as it. much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too worried about it, but she said she left it on her gear bag because she races at 10, so I'm gonna run over there and grab it. Hey, is uh, is Ryan uh, like been pitted over here? Ryan Anderson? No, uh, her bike was here. She's on the line now. Okay, is that her gear bag? Do you know? Uh, yeah. I think this is my camelback for the day. We're going racing. All right, thank you. All right, so we gotta find a, I think they call it a bladder for this thing, where the water actually goes. And I think a straw, I don't have one of those either. We're a little uh, behind the eight ball here. Almost be worth it. You go, get, like, uh, XC1. Yeah, thanks. So I don't know if like the people know me or if they think that like, I just am vlogging so that I'm like I'm somebody or I don't know. But we're uh this is interesting. Very interesting. Good luck, Justin. Yeah, thanks. Hey, thank you. Should have been more prepared on that one. Honestly, <laughs> won't drink that much out of it. That's kind of what I figured. I was racing, I never did, dude. Yeah. I'm not really too worried about Especially it. Especially if you get something here. Yeah. Every if lap, I come through here every lap and grab nice it, like. To have in yeah. Case. I'm going to wear the pants that Nicole washed my throttle burst jacket in, or hoodie. So it's a little pink, but this is like a breast cancer race. So I think the pink's okay. I went out and I got on the road there and I went left, did all this, went all through here. I thought when I was here, I honestly, for some reason I thought I was over here, but then I realized where I was, went back in, all the way around, came through, rode all the way up to here. So I've, since I've been here, I have rode a little bit of this. I, like I at least I, I rode it backwards sideways, but I at least have seen all this. Uh, I didn't go up this hill, but apparently, oh, oops. Apparently this hill is pretty gnarly, but I rode a lot of this. I rode this all the way to Iron Man Hill. I rode six to five, but I've actually rode that backwards on accident because I got lost trying to find Iron Man Hill. So from Iron Man Hill all the way to there, I don't know. This to this, no idea. And basically right here to here, I have no idea. So we'll find out at one o'clock. Hey, thank you. We've been talking about motocross racers making the jump over to GNCC, making the debut on the Ampro Yamaha here in just a little bit. Justin Starling, I'm hanging here with you, man. I see you watching, scop scoping some lines out. What do you think about GNCC so far? Man, I'm almost thinking about not doing Supercross next year and just coming over here. It's uh, It's been probably the most fun. I've only been here for a day so far, but most fun day I've had in a long time. And I've rode about 40% of the track so far, and it looks like a blast. Uh, three hours is going to be very long, but I'm really excited to be here. This is awesome. Now, talk about it. Uh, obviously, a pro Supercross and motocross racer, you clearly know what you're doing on a motorcycle, but to do it for three hours straight, uh, what's the mindset coming into this? What's the expectation? Uh, expectation is to get a good start. Uh, I actually have never done a dead engine start before. I did a couple yesterday, and I was I felt like I was pretty good at them. So, I mean, you can say that until you actually go on the line, right? But. Uh, yeah, just get a good start, and honestly, I, I would say just I want to survive the three hours, but I'd actually like to try, try to get a good result. Um, I don't know what that means, if it's, you know, top five, top ten, top ten, I don't know. Um, we'll find out probably after the good hour and a half in, but uh, 
yeah, I just want to finish good and uh, and strong, and we'll see what it's like to ride for three hours. I, we were joking with Austin, it, it usually takes me about three days to ride three hours on Supercross, so this will be uh, something new for me. I've never actually rode in the woods in my life besides a mountain bike, so this is going to be uh, de definitely something new, but I'm really excited. Well, Justin, welcome to GNCC. We're yeah. excited to see you here shortly. Thanks, man. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. See, in Supercross, that never happens, ever. No one cares about me. Hey guys, Justin Starling here. We're at the 2023 Ironman GNCC, and there's no way I'm gonna do this XC1 race for three hours without my lightning rod throttle burst. Get it. Fairly soon, huh? Should be cool, but yeah, so far we don't have a camelback. Um, and we're gonna find we're gonna find one before we go, and then just uh, leave. Yeah, it's kind of what. Yeah. Might not have this part, but he'll have the. Yeah, I don't, what is, I don't know what that part is. What part do you have? I have. I don't have anything. You don't have anything. Okay, let me just see. But uh, do you have yours in your camper? I'll go look right now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> This is so wild. Put it on this side. I was trying to get as much length as you can. I don't think you have to lock it in or anything, do you? No. Yeah, perfect. It's in there. And... Boom. And then we can, yeah. Hey, you said it's something about like, like slitting up my jersey or something and yeah, then like running it up. It's kind of short. Where's it going to be? Like, oh, that just sucks. Oh, that'll be all right. We can, yeah, you can literally just have it. You can, we can cut a hole there and cut a hole like out here and let it hang and you can just grab it. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Good? We got progress here, dude. I got, I got liquid. We're going to be all right. He goes, I've never used one of these before. No, I haven't. This is actually, it's yours, Liam. I uh, know. Oh, okay. You're telling me you're from Florida with, from this dude. You're not, you can't even help him out? Tell him what a Camelback Brother, is? Hey, I asked him to come out on Wednesday, ride a little bit, get used to the trees. I had Supercross Thursday, Friday. Nope. Okay, so Wednesday's, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday's the woods. <laughs> you should start riding woods on Wednesdays. Zach, I got the jersey. Hi, Doc. Let me cut you. Got. Let me cut you. No, I did it right. I got you. Perfect. Perfect. I texted him. I'm like, is it okay to like have like 60 on my gear because all my gear is supplemented? And he's like, the racing actually won't do it right. <laughs> yeah, you're like. like you, it's like, oh, I've never ran outdoors. I'm going to come and I'm going to run front line in the World Premier Off-Red Series. It's like, I'm not even going to come do it half-ass. I need you to print some numbers on, like, now. They're like, why is it say 312? They were so confused. They are like, what are you racing? I'm like, uh, Genius to see. They're like, so where are we shipping these? Brand new jersey, putting a hole in it. Oh, it's fine. It's literally, I have two jerseys. They sent me two jerseys, and I'm like, I mean... I'm not going to do a jersey swap in the photo. That's one nice thing about GNCC racing is you just get ready once, go race, come back. Alright. Mm -hmm. Super cross, you get ready like anything. You have to have three sets of, you know, three sets of gear. You can change so much. You said just like slice it like right here. Yeah, I'm going to slice it up higher. Hold every one of them. Slice your head. Uh-huh. And a beach race. It's got to be on the Curlings? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> he needs to hang it up. Uh, not perfect. Maybe I'll, I'll put. It's out. <laughs> well, I mean, my helmet's obviously. Yeah. Right. Put a zip tie right there. Yeah. Just to make sure it doesn't slip. Like, because when you ride, oh, you do No, I mean, I could do it with a chest protector. That's fine if you want to do it. Just because, so, like, say you're riding, it's going to be a lot more. Pull back from here. Yeah, please. <laughs> Especially on this side. Oh, I got baby on the way, man. <laughs> How did he die? Yeah. Uh, get it ready for a GCC race. Did, did he even race? Nope. No. Didn't even make it out there. Didn't make it out of the truck. <laughs> didn't make it out of the truck. Helmet was never put on. Slide header just sits on the back of the neck. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then it's like they, so for everyone to go to the 10 seconds, and then the guy whips it up. Yeah, so it'll go like this, like 10 seconds, and it'll put the flag down like this. Yeah. And, yeah, That's but good. then, so he'll, they'll introduce you at the first turn, like he'll come to you and be like, okay, go. And they'll be calling your name over. Oh, okay. You ride a wheelie, whatever you do. Oh, yeah, and then cool. go pick your start spot. Oh, yeah. Okay. As they jockey for position, it's quick to
they can do a lap. Gary Joe comes do like lap two instead of the 30 minute lap, so it was six laps. You know what I mean? Huh? Turn them into an off road guy. Yeah, that was so fun. I just f***ed up a couple times and like, I, now I, like, now that you know, like, you know, like, what you have to do, I think it's better, but like, I think it was like lap four, I actually went through the woods, like, pretty good. Like, I was like, starting to hop around and like, get a flow, and once you get a flow, it's like, night and day. 10 out of 10 would recommend them. 10 out of 10. That was awesome. But I can tell you right now, I will never complain about a Supercross track being rough again. Never. And any guy that races outdoors is like, oh, it's not that rough. Go do that. Maybe if you want to do it again next year, we'll set something up. Yeah, I, I will absolutely do like that right now, 100% of it. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend almost anything. Yeah, I'm just going to do it again. It's so much longer than I thought. That was badass. All right, that's Iron Man done. Uh, we finished. I don't really know what to say about it other than like, I've learned that these guys are the gnarliest dudes on dirt bikes, in my opinion, that I've seen. I mean, obviously maybe Ayersburg or something's gnarlier, but uh, yeah, I got lost the first lap. Like, I didn't really understand. Like, not lost, like you're obviously there's arrows and everything, but you don't know where you're going and where you're at and all that, so. I started third, which was cool. Um, dead engine start seems to work for me. Maybe I'll try it in Supercross because I don't get good starts there. Um, yeah, I, I made a few mistakes a couple times. I had to stop a, a few times, got stuck once. Um, just the ruts were just gnarly. You know, I had to have someone help me get a, a stick out of the bike at one point, but wow. Um, I've never had that much fun riding a motorcycle. My lower back is done because you have to stand up everywhere. You can't sit down. Um, but like, I'll show you like this. That's like the smooth part of the track. Like this is literally the smoothest part of the track. And it is so much harder than like an outdoor national. And some of the stuff you're riding through, I, I don't even know how to explain it because it's like, I, I don't know how they do it. At one point, like I could hear the, the leaders of XC1 coming I had, I had, like I said, I had to stop quite a few times, and um, I wanted to watch them come through. Like I was already last, so I was like, I just want to see these guys go through this stuff and see what they do. And unbelievable, they are so fast. But that's it. That's a wrap. We got to catch a flight. Our flight's already delayed, so that's awesome. We're gonna get home at like 2 a.m. now. Um, but yeah, it was a good time. The AM Pro Yamaha team was—they treated me like I was one of their top guys, which was awesome. I was treated the same as everyone else, and that's hard to find with someone that's coming in for just a, just a night or a day of racing. Um, but yeah, never had that much fun riding a motorcycle. 100% will do it again, and I absolutely recommend anyone that has an opportunity to do a GNCC to do it. Two hours is probably a little bit better, but I will continue to only ride the three hour ones. And uh, maybe not ride a 450 anymore. Maybe, maybe I'll ride a 250 in this stuff. It may be a little bit better for me. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's a wrap. Now it's time to go find some food because I am dying of hunger.